What's up guys, RC Fanatics here. Well, it should be RC Fanatic for now, but I thought I should come outside with the Traxxas two-wheel drive slash, which you can see right in front of you. Yes, look at that thing. Well, I thought I might get some footage of it running. I just haven't seen any of that. Well, let's just cruise out. Cruising forward. Back up and get a close up of these the launch of this launch. Back it up and come on, focus. Okay, not gonna focus because why not? Not focus. Be fantastic if you would. Well, that's pretty much all I'm gonna get out of the best quality. But let's back up, get it closer, closer, and closer. Much very closer. Very much closer. Right. Whoop. All right, ready, set, go! Oh, whoops. Okay, that was messed up. I got distracted by an animal. More like a bird, stupid bird. All right, well, let's try this again. Ready, set, go! Great launch. A little bit slow, but the top speed is much quicker because I do have the different spur and pinion gear. Um, I believe so. I have a pinion gear is 23 tooth. I think so, and I don't remember what the spur gear is. I can probably grab my old one. Um, I don't remember which how many teeth that is. Somewhere, like I don't know. I don't even know. But, Switch out the stock one. You have your two different gears. You have your stock one. When you first buy the vehicle, it comes with your stock spur gear and pinion gear. And then you can put uh, more of a top speed gear on. Which, with the spur gear, I have more of a top speed gear on. The pinion gear, I guess you could say that's a 23 tooth. So, better. It's only, uh, I think when you put the top speed gearing on, it's like 21 tooth. So, something around there. And I can show you guys, if you don't know, where pinion and spur gears are located. So, here we are. Trox's two-wheel drive slash. I do have the stock cover on, which might be upgrading. You can see those screws, very rusty. You look at that. God, that shock is annoying. But your pinion gear would be about right here. And then you have your spur gear, which is the biggest gear there, which is, you can do torque adjustments too. Your motor goes straight from in here, drives a shaft. Uh, the pinion gear sits on a shaft. Had to tighten it with some Loctite because I had some problems of it coming off. 
and that fixed it. I used some blue Loctite, works perfectly fine. And then normal pinion gear. So let's set this back down right there and get back driving. <sighs> I have mad camber on the rear, if you haven't seen that. Turn, turn. You know that camber on the back really helps. Hello. Oh, that camber on the back is really helping. Something happened with the camera. She's not talking about that. Well, the camber on the back, let's go back to that. Back it up. Driving backwards really kills the battery, which sucks a lot. Back it up and angle it really close down. Let's zoom in a little bit on the back. Well, you can really see that the camber, you definitely see the wheels are definitely different from your normal setup. Your normal setup, your wheels, I'm going to stick my hand out. Um, Alright, it's going to be a lot harder to use. Let's grab something else. Well, your wheels are normally about straight. About straight like this. Sitting your normal way. But I changed it so my wheels sit something like this to help with performance. And the wheels are sitting like that. Ugh. Crap. Well, that's going to have to do it for this video with the Traxxas two wheel drive slash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with this little Traxxas slash of mine, two wheel drive. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Like, show that little thumb up there. Okay, you know what I mean. Well, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you think anything should be fixed, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.